I mean, so far, we put in personal cash uh, and happy to do that. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, there was another 80 bucks from little random people who put money in the campaign today who just said, you know, we be, be our voice. Um, you know, we've got some business owners who have to pay these taxes who put that money in. But I don't see the healthcare community coming in because, of course, they like these taxes. One, they can pass them on to you. Uh, and then they get, make money from the kickbacks, whether that is, uh, you know, the, the coho folks who have really big contracts and get to spend lots of money on campaigns or the hospital associations. And we've seen those salaries get published. So they, they, they like the system the way it is, right? People are making money from that. And I'm sort of of the thought, and I'm a capitalist, I think you should go make money, that's wonderful, but I also believe that if your business model is predicated on my tax dollars, you darn well better be held to a higher standard. And right now those standards don't exist. We even saw where Representative Greenlick tried to curtail campaign finance out of Medicaid and was rebuffed by his um, colleagues. We saw where Representative Greenlick put forward a bill to have all of the, the CCOs go nonprofits. And that didn't happen either because they put $4.4 million of campaign cash in. So, and we've heard they're gonna spend as much as $2 million of your tax dollars trying to get a sales tax on healthcare. So, you know, I, I mean, we're kind of tired of it. How much do you think you, you will need to uh, spend? So, I don't know yet. So, we don't have that dialed down yet. So this has been a very humbling and, and interesting experience for me and I think for Representative Parrish. Um, uh, the three of us, including Sal Esquivel, started out with this um, with no money in the bank, right? And no big donors and no big backers. We went to the people of Oregon. We went out on social media, which is inexpensive. Um, we used some mail. We used some phone calls. And the response just exploded. And 80, over 80% 80 of the signatures that we gathered were not paid for, being meaning that they weren't paid for with paid signature gathers. They were just grassroots volunteer signatures. People printed it off social media. They went around to their friends, their churches, their Rubicons, their Lions Clubs, wherever. It, it, it just it just flooded us with signatures, and uh, it was very humbling to watch that. So. I'm not really concerned about where the funds come from or whether this is going to cost us. You know, we get people tell you, well, you're going to have to have a half a million dollars uh, to do this campaign against two million dollars from the healthcare industry. Well, you know what? Somebody that can give a half a million dollars has one vote. Somebody that gave us two dollars has one vote. And we believe that that one vote from the person that can give two dollars is just as important as somebody that can write a check for a half a million dollars. And we'll see what happens. So, what do you think about?